Esports are built on relationships. From coaches and players, to content creators and fans, these relationships plus incredible skills in game is what makes esports such an enjoyable pastime. But sometimes, these relationships extend way beyond friendship into something more. Yes, I am talking about the bromance. Today, we wanted to take a look at both some of the names in esports who've reached bromance status with one another, as well as the beauty behind a couple bros just being bros. Here are the top 10 bromances in esports. Opening today's list, we have the unlikely bromance between two League of Legends kings, Tyler1 and Faker. How is yours? Good? Oh. Hi, Steve. We are basically best friends. Their friendship began in 2018, when the biggest pro and biggest content creator in League first met at All Stars, taking a now iconic photo together. But over the last few years, the two broke through language barriers and distance, creating one of the strangest and funniest friendships in League of Legends. <laughs> 20! Oh wait, I think I got a token it. I got you, dude. Call me a muscle. Whoa, wait, wait! Uh -oh. Don't uh, get too uh, excited. And in case you think it's all an act, Tyler1 has Faker on speed dial. That's right, Tyler1 knows Faker's phone number, and you don't. Hello, Tyler1. Hey bud, how you doing, man? You look pretty good. <laughs> you too. Nothing is ever quite like your first crush, and that's why our number nine entry is a relationship that can only be described as love at first sight, Anivia and Frog. In lane, she's really a nuisance, not to mention a Frog and hovering over Anivia. Yeah. Frog, what can you pick where we would actually win teamfights here? I don't think he does anything. Anivia, dude. <laughs> Anivia was Froggen's first main champ, an idea he picked up from his brother. I've been playing League of Legends since 2010 because my brother played a lot and he introduced me to it. Funny part is, he was also an Anivia one chick at the time, so it's just like natural for me to go in and be an Anivia main too. And once he went pro, Froggen quickly made a name for himself with his favorite bird. And the, the problem for Gambit, right? Oh, I'll tell you what, go oh, on, that's what we used to see it from Froggen. Just controls him with the wall, the stun, it all comes out in one fluid motion. It's been years, and while Anivia has gone in and out of the meta, Froggen has never let her go, still busting her out whenever he can and looking as deadly on the champ as ever. He is going to keep sieging in this 4v4, looking at the next round, the flash in, they're going to find the stun, that was beautiful from Froggen! Even when he's not playing Anivia, Froggen can't stop talking about this champion. Almost a decade since he began playing and the dude's still got the bird on his brain. Next on our list is Overwatch's premier bromance, Kareev and Agilities. Oh, it was a hard day. Yeah, it was a hard day because I have you on my team. No, you Kareev and Agilities began playing together on Immortals midway through 2017, eventually transitioning to the org's Overwatch League team, the Los Angeles Valiant. And it's there that their bromance blossomed. I don't want to get bitten. You want to try? It's not okay. Oh, dude. <laughs> Overwatch fans loved watching their antics, including their famous Gamer Snacks series. Today we are making hamburgers. Cheeseburgers. Or cheeseburgers. Gamer, Gamer Snacks. Snacks! And in 2020, fans breathed a sigh of relief when the two announced they continue playing together on Toronto Defiant, even getting to continue making funny food videos with the new organization. Skip the dishes. Skip the dishes. Let's go pull tonight. Why? Because it's only fun. Tomorrow? Why tomorrow? Okay, tonight. Yeah. Okay, tomorrow. Tonight. Tonight. Although they're no longer playing together in 2021, their bromance continues to live on. I mean, just look at Twitter. Coming from the world of Call of Duty esports, we have the T2P duo at number seven, otherwise known as Scump Informal. Not only are Scump and Formal both all-time greats in Call of Duty, but they are one of the most beloved duos the game has ever seen. Uh, I have some candles over here because I do like, you know, waking up with some nice scents. That's a big, uh, that's a big thing to me. Smell, 
These are, um... <laughs> <laughs> he loves his music, his TV shows, and his sense. <laughs> sure, they had a rough patch at one point, which some people might call beef. There was like a competition, sort of, within the team. And once we started losing, I feel like that competition kind of like just ate away at the relationship because, you know, he wanted more of the recognition or whatever, or I wanted more recognition, whatever it was. But that beef is ancient history. Last year, the pair teamed up again, and they reminded everyone why we loved them in the first place. At number six is the most beautiful romance in CSGO, Kenny S and the Op. Manages to get out of the exposed position, picks up the frag onto Alu, goes for the quick second shot. Forest is causing, oh my goodness, so much damage done here by Kenny S. Another frag found, and again, Kenny S. Kenny S is the best opper of all time. And if you disagree, well, we've got plenty of clips to prove you wrong. See how he handles it, and he was expecting the flashes. He ends up just getting humiliated, staring at the wall. Kenny, he's looking oh, for more, and what? this is phenomenal stuff. He finds another one, man. I, I, he's, he's already gone above and beyond. Flashes, looks like he wants some more. Rops is on those close boxes. He does drop in, and Kenny, he's doing it all. Oh, it's Kenny S, yes, baby. When you think of Kenny S, yes, you think of the op. All right, Kenny, as a CT, what do you do when you've eliminated all the T's, but the bomb is planted? I saved the L. It's gem time. I mean, the dude's even got the scope tattooed on his arm. It might just be a man loving a fake gun, but it's as real as bromances get. Our next bromance comes from the best CSGO team ever. I'm talking about Astralis' device, Zipex, and Dupree. Device, do you think Super will ever be the main opera for Astralis? No, I doubt he will ever be the opera in any team in the world. To be an unprecedented dominant force in CSGO like Astralis has these last few years, a team needs to have chemistry on and off the server. Luckily for Astralis, Device, Zipix, and Dupree have that in spades. You have no idea which is my favorite movie. I have a, I have a good guess, but... Conception. You're so close. Ah, uh, that's... That was the one I meant, but I... I seriously, I meant it's just that I'm on wrong Conception. That was so stupid. When you think about it, it makes sense. These guys have played together for eight years across five organizations. I think the how we as a team were like together at that point it was when we started like hanging out constantly and had a lot yeah. of good memories with that. And you know how the old saying goes, pros who stay together win four majors together. If you're a longtime NA League fan, there's probably no bot lane closer to your heart than Double Lift and Afro Moo, aka Rush Hour. Holy shit! Oh, what's going on? I was all tap, man. <laughs> wait, I got the ignite, wait, bitch. Go back! <laughs> <laughs> on the rift, Double Lift and Afro Moo were unstoppable. Afro Moo in the front lines, Dexter there as well. Lemonation gets hooked up by Afro he goes down, two kills a double if the ult comes out. Sneaky has nowhere to go, triple kill for double if. And off the rift, they couldn't stop making each other laugh. Rebound? I yeah. <laughs> rebound. What is that? Uh, it's the new hip way of saying rebound. That's, I, I was getting to rebound and that's how I f***ed my pinky, so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And together, they became LCS champions. And now taking down Team Solo Med at Madison Square Garden to be your 2015 Summer Split Champions. But at the end of 2015, that bromance met its end after Aframu and CLG kicked Double Lift from the team. We used to be friends back in the past, but since coming into this new roster iteration that we had for Summer Split, I valued it more to bring everyone else to the level that we were at, and I spent more time with them than I did with Peter. So that definitely damaged the relationship, of course. And then going into this off season, we just didn't really agree and the organization wanted to part ways with Peter. Don't worry though, time heals all wounds, especially in League. All right, sorry, I should, did you just try to rub his no, nipple with a- No, I trying to point to the rocket mortgage. Never mind. There are few rosters in League of Legends that are as beloved as the Rock's Tigers. 
They were just a bunch of pals who happened to be on one of the best league teams in the world. Top and Hib has been killed, and they even got the pickoff on Bang. Rox doesn't actually have to stop pushing right now. They can delay the recalls. The arrow, no. the arrows. Look at the arrow. He can teleport. He no. got He's stopped, him. Out. He stopped him. With three second push. It's now on Wolf. It's a teleport coming in for Smith and Curl. How much more can be done? Yeah. It's a stun going to be enough. It's not. Rox Tigers answer back with game two. <laughs> I love it. This series. The team formed as a squad of misfits and captured viewers' hearts with their incredible play, amazing uniforms, and silly antics. Although the team parted ways at the end of 2016, the bromance continues to this day. At the end of 2020, they even had a reunion after Smeb, Kuro, and Gorilla retired. Four years later, and these guys still can't get enough of each other. In the runner-up spot on today's list, we have the tragedy of Dota 2's greatest bromance. That's right, it's Fly and No-Tail. No-Tail and Fly. You could ask anyone in eSports, this is the ultimate friendship. These are two guys that have just stuck with one another, thick and thin, throughout different rosters, different years, different teams even. The two started their eSports careers playing Heroes of New Earth together before transitioning into Dota 2. The way me and Tal uh, met was uh, in a public game. We were playing almost every day, like either practicing or just pubbing or whatever, so we ended up talking a lot all the time. You know, he's like a brother to me. Fly and No Tail played together for years. But even after they split, once Fly got kicked from Team Secret, their friendship remained strong. So strong that they decided to make a new team together. OG. Team OG was formed by myself and No Tail. The big idea behind OG is a mindset of friendship, but also want to win. Together, they won four majors, turning OG into one of the biggest names in Dota. They've got the TG out from Secret. OG, they fight all the way through the lower bracket and will be clean the champions of the first ever Dota 2 major live here in Frankfurt. But in 2018, seeking bigger prize pools, Fly blew it all up by leaving for evil geniuses. We lose and then we, we go back to the hotel. And, uh, well, we just got called into a room. And I learned that the two players are leaving and one of them's my best friend. Fly's departure only energized No-Tail, who turned his lost love into pure skill, winning back-to-back -back TIs after Fly left, even dunking on his former teammate in the process. OG with the fortitude to stick through it after dealing with such a oh. as the tiny. Oh, the look there from Topping today's list is an esports bromance that spans over a decade across multiple games and teams. Forest and Get Right. What is my favorite type of music? Baby, 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 oh. Justin Bieber. The duo's relationship started in 2009 in the CS 1.6 days, when Get Right and Forest first teamed up on Fnatic. Any second get right will spray and Fnatic will win the Intel Extreme Masters Global Challenge here in Dubai after a thrilling game there against Meet Your Makers. From that point forward, the duo were inseparable. They left Fnatic for SK in 2010 and then transitioned to CSGO together, joining Ninjas in Pajamas. There, they made history, beginning their journey into CSGO with an 87-0 map streak. By 2014, they were major champions. There is nothing they can do any longer. NIP have won Gamescom 2014. Ladies and gentlemen, 16-13, it finally happens. But fans didn't just love them because of their skill. If you put a camera in front of Forrest and Get Right, something funny always happened. Boost me here. Boost me in ELO. <laughs> Boost my ELO. Get Right is finally retired now, while Forrest is still going strong, but their friendship has lasted for years. And you've gotta believe it can last forever.
All right, guys, that is it for our list of top 10 bromances. What did you think? Did we miss an iconic duo? Let us know in the comments below if so. Also, you should probably subscribe to the channel already if you haven't, and hit that notification button so you know exactly when our new content goes live. Now, I won't see you next time, but Danny Burke certainly will. It's, it's, I, I have a few different bromances, but the, the one that our audience is probably the most familiar with and you guys on this call is Keith Capstick. We go back years at this point and it is certainly a love-hate relationship that you guys have experienced in other end boards. I, I would also, I, Brendan, I would say that like you, Shehab and Andrew and, and me all have like a four-way bromance. You know, we got, we kind of got all that going I wouldn't, on. I wouldn't know? use the word four-way. <laughs> sure, you know.